So what are lipoproteins? <clears throat> it might be best to understand what they are by understanding what they do. You see, blood is 90% water or more. So what happens if we eat a hamburger or we uh, eat something with oil in it, like this olive oil, and it, go it has to be transported in our blood? You see, it form, the, the oil in water forms big blobs. Those big blobs could cause a heart attack or stroke. In fact, they, they do cause major problems in a large trauma where bones are broken. You can get what's called a fat embolus, which means a, uh, that the fat inside the marrow of the bone has uh, acted like a large clot in the bloodstream it can cause a heart attack or stroke just like a, uh, the normal heart attack and strokes happen with blood clots. So how does the body tran transport these kind, of, uh, these kind of oils effectively in water? It does what it does many times. It creates a protein. These proteins take the large fat globules and make them microscopic. Now, in fact, when you get a cholesterol test with your doctor, you'll see things called LDL, or bad cholesterol, or HDL, which is known as good cholesterol. They're really the same things. They're the same lipoprotein and the same fats most of the time. So what's the difference? Well, the first letter stand is high-density lipoprotein and low-density lipoprotein. The low-density lipoprotein simply has a lot more of the fat on that lipoprotein. The high-density lipoprotein has a lot less of the fat. So it makes sense that we want more of the uh, high-density lipoproteins out there and able to transport fat, cholesterol, and other lipids in the bloodstream.